This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Banknotes across the world use invisible ink as a security feature, much like those pens you might have played with as a kid. Some are more elaborate than others, and I've talked about it a ton in previous videos, but in short, it's a security feature that makes the notes difficult to counterfeit, and makes it easier to identify fakes. But recently I came across an incredibly rare banknote that takes this to a whole new level. This is one of only a thousand Star Wars banknotes produced to mark the release of The Last Jedi. But it's so much more than just a novelty banknote. It's been designed with all the features of a real banknote. And when exposed to UV light, TIE Fighters and AT-ATs become visible, as well as a secret message in Orobesh. The reverse sees a more previously invisible vehicles, and Kylo Ren's lightsaber doing that super cool fire thing. Now as you can likely tell from that last sentence, I'm not exactly a Star Wars super fan, but regardless, this banknote is still undeniably very impressive. So what if I took that same kind of creative flair and applied it to some real world banknotes in desperate need of a UV facelift? Well this is a brand new ink tank printer, and this is an eye-wateringly expensive amount of invisible ink, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Before we even begin, there's an obvious problem. In almost every country, it's illegal to deface banknotes. In other words, you can't draw a moustache on the Queen, or turn Benjamin Franklin into a pirate, and I therefore cannot legally print on top of them. The next best thing then is prop money. These are the notes sold for use in movies or TV shows, and there's a ton of rules and regulations about how they must appear. For instance, they need to be single-sided, one and a half times larger than normal, and in most countries must have the word specimen printed over them. Prop money must be made of paper, even when the banknote is based upon is polymer. But there's another problem. When you put a real banknote under UV light, other than the specific UV part, it doesn't glow. And that's the point. This is a special type of paper that does not absorb and re-emit ultraviolet light. Normal paper, however, does, all over and blindingly brightly. It's due to something called OBAs, or optical brightening agents, a chemical compound used to make the paper as white as possible. The trouble is that prop money is printed on ordinary paper, with these OBAs, and I can't print on top of something that already glows. It would be like printing black text on a black sheet of paper. There's also play money for kids, which adheres to all the same rules as prop money, but once again, it's also printed on glowing paper. So next I had to find some paper without these chemicals. I tried office printer paper, recycled eco paper, handmade rag paper, parchment paper, Japanese rice paper and Indian cotton paper, and all of it glowed. It's no accident that paper that doesn't glow is so hard to find. It's just yet another measure intended to make counterfeiting banknotes as difficult as possible. The only paper I found that didn't glow was literally made from elephant poo. And yes, it smells very much like elephant poo. However, these thick strands of whatever the elephant had apparently been eating stopped it from running through the printer. Delightful. I almost gave up when I found some paper, I kid you not, handmade in the foothills of Mount Everest. It's called Nepalese Lokta paper, and according to Wikipedia, it's made from the fibrous inner bark of high elevation evergreen shrubs. This video is getting way too elaborate. Much to my delight, it didn't glow. I'd finally found the perfect paper. But then we encounter another obvious problem. You can't just print your own banknotes. Well, technically you can in certain countries, provided you follow some very strict requirements, and in many cases obtain approval from the central bank. But it all gets way too complicated. So despite now having suitable paper, I was more or less back to square one. I decided to create my own cartoon play money based upon each original design. The colours and proportions are the same, but they're larger, and there's absolutely no chance of these being mistaken for real banknotes, so I'm good to go. Finally, I just had to now print my UV designs on top. It was really weird to print with UV ink, because obviously it's invisible and means you can't see what you're printing. I could hear the printer doing its thing, but my cartoon banknotes came out looking exactly the same as when they went in. But then the magic happens under ultraviolet light. My £5 note sees the Queen destroying Big Ben with laser beams shooting from her eyes. Don't mess with the Queen. Ironically, Big Ben's official name is actually Queen Elizabeth Tower, so she's in fact blowing up something named in her honour. Next we travel to the White House on the back of the US $20 bill. A space scene is illuminated, with a starry night sky above the building, Neil Armstrong in his spacesuit on the left, and the moon and a meteor on the right. I really like this one, and I think maybe a less cartoonish version would work really well for the real currency, which is currently being updated. The Queen can be seen again on the Australian $5 bill. Now I should explain, there was this big campaign to get Steve Irwin on an Australian banknote, but unfortunately it was unsuccessful. Well not on my banknote, here the legendary Aussie can be seen with his arm around the Queen. I don't imagine the pair ever met, but I'm sure he would have charmed the socks off her. 
On the US $1 bill, we obtain X-ray vision to see George Washington's skeleton. You've probably noticed by now that I'm really going heavy on the yellow ink. It just shows up more vibrantly than the other colors, especially on these darker backgrounds. On the back of the US $5 bill, we see the Lincoln Memorial, but under UV light, the sky is lit up with fireworks for the 4th of July. I've tried to include all the colors on this one, and I think it looks pretty great. Anyway, now that we've seen my designs, be sure to tell me what cool and creative ideas for UV features you would put on your country's banknotes in the comments. I spent way too much real money on this video, and it was kindly sponsored by Brilliant, a problem-solving website and app that uses interactive lessons to teach you a ton of cool subjects, including math, science, computer science, and more. They have courses on cryptocurrency, finance, logic, mathematical fundamentals, programming, and machine learning, amongst others. I've spent the last few weeks learning all about cryptocurrency, a subject I know embarrassingly little about for someone who's obsessed with regular currency. And through Brilliant's courses, you don't just rote learn or get a vague overview, but acquire a deep and coherent understanding of the concepts inside and out, allowing you to competently apply what you've learned to real-world scenarios. They're brilliant, literally. Go to brilliant.org forward slash halfasleepchris to sign up for free, and the first 200 people will get 20% off their annual premium membership.